Welcome to the Green API channel. In this video, we will analyze in detail how to receive notifications using HTTP API. This technology uses REST API requests to receive notifications. This is similar to other Green API methods. This technology is usually used when you need to receive a message to the database, for example, 1C or another service. However, for security reasons, you cannot expose your IP address, or setting up and managing your web service seems to be a difficult task. Then it will be convenient for you to use a simple and reliable way to receive notifications using HTTP API technology. Depending on your settings, our service creates a notification object when a new message is received, its status changes, or it is sent unsuccessfully. These objects are placed in a FIFO queue. This allows you to ensure that notifications are received in chronological order. The size of the queue is unlimited. Your notifications will not be lost, but the retention time of each object with a notification is 24 hours from the moment it arrives in the queue. There is no sharing of HTTP API and webhook endpoint technologies. You can find all types of notifications on our website. We are developing the API and adding new notifications. Implement your integration exception handling for unknown notifications. This way you can add new functionality to your system and have no problems when upgrading the IP to a new release. Let's try receiving a notification. Configure instance to receive notifications and go to your personal account. If you are using the HTTP API technology in the instance settings, the URL string must be empty. To receive notifications, you need to enable the type of notification you are interested in. All notifications are disabled by default in your personal account or through the set settings method. The most commonly used settings are to receive notifications about incoming messages, the status of sent messages and changes in account authorization status. We recommend you to monitor the instant status. And if you receive the unauthorized status, make a request using the getState instance method. If an authorized confirmation is received, it is necessary to stop sending messages and inform the operator about the need to authorize the instance by scanning the code in the personal account. I recommend IP testing with a specially created Postman collection. You get a clear understanding of all the API methods and the code you need to integrate into your system, written into the language you want. We also have libraries that are ready for use with the API. We receive several notifications using a specially prepared Postman collection. Go to the collection, receiving and receiving notification. We use the receive notification method to check the queue of incoming notifications. It takes 5 seconds to respond. If there is no queue and no notification is received during this time, the response will be empty. We send a message to our number. We delete the notification using the delete notification method specifying its ID. We send a message using the API. We will receive a notification with the status read after the message has been read by our contact. Get the status of the instance. We will restart the instance to simulate this. So by receiving and deleting notifications, we can receive incoming messages. I recommend creating a system to log incoming messages by ID and time. That way you can track your integration knowing exactly which messages were received from the API. The matching of messages to receive content can be done through the logs of incoming messages. 
In the next video, we will have in-depth analysis of the web hook and point technology. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our support team.